Hello everyone, it's the Dutch of Free Master and welcome to this new December Speed Build house building video. So for today's house I decided to uh, choose a desert area to build in because I really wanted to build in the desert of Lucky Palms again. So I decided to open this world and just start building. And um, yeah, I just started building this uh, kind of hill as you can see over here. And I had actually the plan to uh, yeah not build a very big house and in the end I think um, it did in the turn out to not be very big. It might look kind of big or at least not very small but it only has one bed and one bathroom which is I think um, okay for a bachelor house or something. Um, and I think in the end it really turned out to look amazing so yeah I hope you also like it. Um, so yeah this is just a regular speed build video um, not like with the time lapse like I did with the last house building video which was a tropicolor um, what was it again it was color paradise that's it uh, color paradise 14 I believe uh, that was built in tropicolor island uh, which is my own world I kind of got sick well not really sick of it but I had enough of the world uh, to build houses in so I decided to um, not build this house in it Maybe the next house will be in Tropicolor Island because of course it still needs some more houses. But uh, I decided to build this house in Lucky Palms because I really wanted to build a house in Lucky Palms again. So yeah, um, as you can see uh, we're just uh, starting with the shape of the house. And I think in the end it really turned out to look modern. But yeah, in quite a special way modern because I decided to still use some wood tones actually in the house. In the coloring of the windows which i think is quite special for a modern house um but yeah i think in the end it really turned out to look amazing with all the split leveling which i used as you can see here i also use some constraint floor elevation uh, stuff so yeah i think in the end it uh, turned out to look pretty nicely and i'm very happy with how it turned out to look like um, so yeah, I got some requests to build a bit of a smaller house, so I decided to actually do that because I know that I build big houses quite often, not too often. I also try to build uh, smaller houses, but um, yeah, I just also wanted to build a smaller house for today, so I did that. Um, yeah, and I wanted to build something modern and yeah, not very high, so I kept the house low. Uh, because it only has one uh, floor which is quite handy if you play the sims i think because then you don't have to uh, yeah let your sims walk on those uh, slow stairs every time um but yeah it is kind of strange because if you, the, the sims want to go from the living room to uh, like their bedroom or something they have to go outside but it is uh, there is a layer above it so a roof so they won't get wet if it rains and also it's in a desert so it doesn't rain and it will be warm enough though in the desert it can of course be kind of cool in the in the night but yeah it's sim so it doesn't matter um so yeah also lately i've been making quite some uh, the sims 4 videos because there has been a uh, new the sims 4 video uh well new the sims 4 videos new the sims 4 news i mean uh, lately and it has been there a, a lot so i decided to uh, make some videos about it uh, for example about the fact that there will be a creative sim uh, demo which I think is seriously amazing and I look forward to be able to play with that because everyone will be able to play with it if you want to uh, get some more information about it I uploaded the video like yesterday so you can just um, go to my channel and check it out there um, also my uh, holiday has started so I will have time enough to actually start making videos again well, not that I stopped making videos, but I'll be able to make even more videos um, and spend some more time on it. So I'm very happy with that. And that means that there also will be uh, a bit more house building videos because I kind of feel like I haven't uploaded those uh, for a while. But um, yeah, I kind of felt demotivated with the number of views which the last one got. I know views aren't the main thing I should be looking at and many people seem to like it. But if you spend like very many hours on building one house and you know that like shorter videos get even more views, it kind of demotivates. But yeah, maybe uh, that was just a um, coincidence or anything. So I hope people will actually uh, watch this video a bit more often. But yeah, anyway, um, as you can see here, I started doing the roof and as you can see, it's a very low house. 
uh, it only has one floor and I also tried to actually add a, a gate around it as you can see here but in the end I won't keep it so I uh, spent all my time making this gate while I didn't want to keep it so that doesn't really make much sense well the sentence does kind of but making the fence doesn't so yeah um in the end i wanted to place uh, a little bit of a more modern uh, fence there so i decided to delete it and add something else there um so yeah i think this house really turned out to look amazing uh and i've said that like too many times already maybe but uh, I noticed that when I wanted to uh, choose a uh, picture for the thumbnail because of course there is a reason why you clicked on this video and that was probably the picture of this video and I kind of m take some screenshots of the house while I'm recording the fly through and then uh, in the end in Photoshop I choose which one I will use for the uh, actual uh, thumbnail and this time I just didn't really know which one to choose because there were very many cool looking uh, pictures, one with a very cool uh, sky in the background. Um, it was kind of like starting to get night, so there was like a sunset. And um, yeah, it was, it really looked great, but for some reason you couldn't really see the house very much in much detail. So I decided to not choose that one, though it was a hard decision, but I also had some other screenshots. Uh, one from the front and one from the back side and then uh, how to add the text seriously That did make me notice that the house looked good because every side I could actually take a screenshot and put it for the thumbnail But in the end I chose the one which you see um, And I hope you like it, but otherwise it's just the thumbnail, but yeah um, As you can see here we are adding the windows and this house has very many windows actually the wall painting on the places there are windows or actually on the actual living areas doesn't really matter because uh, yeah the wall paintings won't even be seen because of all those windows but um the other wall paintings will be seen so um yeah that's basically it um so what can i talk about i know this is kind of a long uh, speed build because i also decided to actually uh, speed build the interior and normally I don't do that very often, but I decided to actually do that for this one because I didn't really want to make the time lapse actually. So I was kind of lazy and decided to do it like this. And also because I know that people actually like to uh, see me build the interior too. And I know uh, from other YouTubers too that uh, people don't really mind if the videos are too long. And also um, YouTube now is the amazing feature back that you can actually speed up videos by yourself. So if you think the building goes too fast you can just uh, watch this video at half speed then you will hear me talking like a robot or something else but you will see the building at a better speed if you think it is too fast or if you think it's too slow you can also speed it up and then i'll sound like a hyperactive i don't know what it what but um i i really i'm really happy with that feature actually because I don't have very much time to watch uh, YouTube videos normally but because of that feature I can actually watch all the videos but then I just I can still hear what they say but it's just sped up so it sounds strange but still I get the whole message of the video and then I'm happy because I've seen a YouTube video but it hasn't um, taken all my time so that's great and of course now it's holiday so it doesn't really matter if I spend much time watching videos but when I'm at school and I have to do like homework uh, it's not very smart to actually uh, be on YouTube because then it takes way too much time because when you start watching just some random videos you end up watching like panda or cat videos so yeah it's not very smart but um, yeah it's nice so yeah that's it um, so here I start adding the other fans it took quite a long time for me to realize that the other one wasn't very beautiful so I decided to um, change it too late kind of so here I also changed the colors, well actually I didn't change it too late by the way, I just changed it uh, but it seemed to be changed late for the video but yeah I'm talking shit. As you can see here I'm adding some skylights because I thought it would add a little bit more of a modern uh, feel to the house and also because it's that modern but it's kind of not really modern but it's 
a special way of modern because it also has like some design parts or at least that's what it feels like some classy parts with the wood so i decided to go at the designer house because when i was building it and especially while i was building the interior it really felt like a house of a designer so not too detailed not too feeling like home almost uh feeling like um a show area kind of like you have in shops like in the ikea or something but then a little bit more of an expensive shop where you can just test out like the sofas and stuff it i kind of uh, did the decoration of this house like that because that really felt like uh, the house of a designer um so yeah that's kind of how i came up with the name and um yeah i don't know if it's a good name but the names aren't very important for the houses so here i decided to add a little fence around the roof and then um i did some more gardening the garden didn't take very long because uh there are i only placed some plants and stuff and the pool but that was basically it not too many other things just basically because it didn't fit and i didn't feel like it needed to be there because it was a designer home so yeah um i did like to add those palm trees which come with a uh, lucky palms actually they look pretty epic and normally i try to add them to my houses and i know that i personally like to add them but i know that actually they don't really fit in the environment usually so i prefer to not add them because i know that my viewers won't like it but I was happy that I could actually uh, add them in this house. And I also just made some uh, like areas with plants as you can see here. With some more um, desert plants. Also I added like a chair in the garden as you can see. I changed the colors of the chairs a bit. Because I really feel like you can't uh, keep the color which something comes with in the game. You almost can't use that color because then... It's too basic kind of so um, yeah I al almost always change the color unless it's like white because then it's just really the color it should be or with the barbecue I also didn't change the color but I would almost never use the same color of a chair or something though I think I will get comments now saying in which house building video I house building videos I actually did use the, uh, the same basic color but um, yeah good luck spending your time on doing that so um i finished up adding some plants and then i guess i will uh, go over to making the bar i believe because there's a pretty epic bar on one of the uh, terraces on um, the house uh, actually at the right side from the uh, view you have right now um well pronouncing words today really is shit but I don't know why but I kind of felt like I had to record this voice over today because I wanted to upload the video today but that might cause that the commentary is not very good but here we are finally adding that bar on this uh, very big place over here uh, coloring the bar and then adding some cool act like uh, how to basic chairs kind of or at least they kind of seem to be shaped like an egg so it's how to basic um, and also adding some bar stools and then uh, we will go inside in just a second I believe well first we'll add some more uh, relaxing chairs some sun bathing chairs and actually when uh, I decided to actually also uh, do the speed build of uh, the interior I noticed how long uh, or how much time I spent on making the interior because I always thought I spent uh, much more time on making the exterior but for example in this house uh, like almost half of the time goes into the interior um, which is kind of expectable I guess because you have to color all those things if you wouldn't have to color all items I think it would go like double the speed but I want every color to be matched and yeah that just takes some time uh, for the layout of the house I think uh, the layout between the kitchen and the living room is pretty amazing because yeah it was kind of difficult or hard to uh, divide this room because it's not very big but I did want to fit a living room a kitchen and a dining area in there uh, and in the end I actually succeeded in just adding a wall like this uh, and that really gave a modern uh, effect and I thought it really looked amazing because you can 
like enter the house then at the right side there's the kitchen you can walk then there will be the living room and then you can walk around the, the wall and then you will be in the living room and then if you continue there will be a piano at and at the left side you will be at the entrance again so you can really make like you can kind of run like a marathon around it though it's not 42 kilometers but yeah um i'm just talking random shit uh adding some lamps and uh, also adding some very cool uh items which come with one of those uh some free store um sets i don't know which one oh wait the indulgent deliciously indulgent bakery set something like that but i just really like uh those um baguettes is that the word or is that the french word those baguettes which you get with it i use them in almost every kitchen if i don't forget them but i just really like the look of them they make the kitchen so much more uh, detailed so i like that there i accidentally deleted the whole kitchen but it came back happily and then here i add some more uh, wall painting um to the dining area and then i realized that i had forgotten to add some windows there so i went back added some windows and then i was happy because i didn't have to choose a, a painting to put there because yeah i almost can't decide what well usually i just can't decide which uh paintings i should use here i actually did something pretty cool with the paintings because if you look closely you see that I put three of the same uh, paintings, well actually you don't have to look closely at all. Um, I put three of the same paintings and I decided to uh, color them just a little bit differently at every level it went up. So at the, the most bottom um, painting is almost white, then the one above is light grey and then the top one is a uh, very grey. And I thought it would be a kind of creative and also add kind of that design uh, part to this house. Also here I kind of made a cool uh, cupboard area uh, which I thought was cool with the combination between the uh, television and uh, some bookcases. So um, yeah that's nice I think. And actually I'm quite happy that I did this in a speed build way because in this uh, way I can actually talk about... Uh, yeah the way i did the the interior too so that's nice maybe people want to hear that um and then now they hear it so um that's a thing also i added some chairs here and i didn't really know what to do with the wall paintings here so i decided to go for this i believe yes that's what it will be in the end and then in the end i also add one well, not really in the end just a little bit later i'll also add some more uh, paintings just like the one the other one with those three different colored paintings i'll also make something like that over here but then with a brown color um, because i kind of wanted to give it yeah something special not too modern because here i also added a little bit more of some wood colors um, but yeah i think in the end it really turned out to look a uh, pretty nice this um this room um, so yeah, actually the whole house turned out to look nice, it's not uh, like my best house or anything and it's not very detailed but in the end it did turn out to look pretty nicely. So I hope you will also like it, please let me know in the comments what you like about it. And also maybe give me some inspiration for a next house building video. Um, so yeah, let me see here I wanted to add something but in the end I decided to delete everything and just add nothing there because i thought to give it a little bit more of a modern feel i decided to just keep it relaxed and clean over there and just not add anything um so here are the bathroom and the one uh, bedroom and i'm sure that there will be people complaining about the fact that all the um, doors in this house are made out of windows even the doors to the uh, bathroom and actually uh, more than 50% of the windows around the bathroom are well more than 50% of the walls around the um, bathroom consist of windows but yeah it's the sims so please don't complain about the privacy of your sims um, because yeah the sims I even added some curtains or well not really curtains but some modern kind of curtains uh, to the windows just to make you a little bit more happy but don't worry there won't be people with like 
um, how do you call it? Like a telescope, kind of, in front of the window to look at you or actually at your sim. So um, I decided to just add many windows. Also, here's the uh, bedroom. People also won't see that. Um, and uh, I decided to go for kind of an orange color because it's something different and also because the Netherlands is actually in the semi-final of um, the uh, World Cup at the moment and I'm sure that we will actually win the World Cup because we're amazing. So um, yeah, I decided to color it uh, orange because that's our color, our nat uh, national color. Um, so that's nice, I well that's kind of the idea behind it but it was mainly because I just liked the fact that it was something different and for a designer home those people are kind of hipster so they want something different and they decided to go for that color um, so yeah uh, I don't really know what I'm saying in this episode actually well episode in this video well, actually, I do know what I'm saying, but it doesn't feel like I'm very I'm talking English fluently or anything, but I guess that doesn't matter always. The funny thing is that the only people who complain about my English are the Dutch people. Seriously. Only the Dutch people complain about my English. Well, English people, well, they either don't say anything about it, because I guess they're used to people like me who think they can talk English, and have to listen to it but those Dutch people really recognize the terrible accent and then they start complaining about it well probably their accent is exactly the same and I think it's kind of funny that like American people or English people don't see anything about it but yeah um, that's just something I wanted to say to the Dutch people thank you for hating the accent and um, yeah that's basically it so here i decided to make kind of a, a man cave bar thing with some drums and the bass and the guitar and the synthesizer uh, next to the car a garage which i decided to also make of windows just so the people you know if the designer of this house actually invites some friends he can show off his car or at least that's what it feels like so i also added some um, like tools for in the garage and then that's actually the house building video and i've succeeded to talk the whole video so i'm very happy with that so thanks for watching and i hope to see you back later